why is this quality so now, ass? I didn't think I wanted to drop a video like this because as of right now, these are allegations. As I saw more evidence and more evidence and more testimonials and more testimonials and more testimonials and more testimonials, yeah, young Philly is cooked. See, in a post Me Too world, people are sitting around and waiting for evidence of these alleged offenders every single day now. People don't wanna jump off the edge, jump to conclusions and claim a man to be guilty when he could potentially be proven innocent. But not Indeed. only is it the clips that are resurfacing of young Philly and not even necessarily the testimonials of strangers or different- I ain't gonna lie, them Twitter clips of Philly is bad, bro. Like that shit is bad. Bad. People that oh are very interesting God. on the internet, but mainly the friends that he had associations with that are doing strange things about him in this situation that have people thinking, Yo, we gotta lock this guy the hell up. British rapper and YouTuber Young Philly has been charged with rape over allegations he attacked and strangled a woman on his Australian tour. Police Okay, nigga, I ain't know that. I, I know they got his ass on the on the on the art charges, but like nigga, he strangled her? To the 29 year old in Brisbane on Tuesday. He was sent to Perth on Wednesday to face a hearing after the alleged attack happened there following a show. Philly is accused of sexually assaulting a woman in her 20s in his hotel on the 28th of September. The alleged assault happened after a performance at Bar One Nightclub in the suburb of Hillary's on the 27th of September. Detectives from Western Australia Police's sexual assault squad charged Philly with four counts of sexual penetration without consent. They also arrested him on three counts of assault and one count of impeding a person's normal breathing or circulation by applying pressure to her neck. He appeared at Perth Magistrates Court on Thursday where his application for bail was adjourned until later in the day. Fans of Philly- Oh, I ain't gonna lie, this nigga cook. Yeah, this nigga cook. The bitch wanted to be choked. He allegedly took it too far. What? Nigga, where did you get that information from? Where did you get that info from? Gathered outside the court and sat inside the public gallery during the hearing. While others commented on social Type media. Type of freak One shit. One said, I need to know Chunks' reaction on what he allegedly did. Another wrote, this broke my heart. He is best known for being an integral part of the group called Beta Squad and working with the Sidemen. Yeah, Chunks is not looking good. The young fellow was granted a bail of $122,000. He bro. must stay in the western portion of Australia and report to the police three times a week. And listen, I don't know too many bail things that have this many hold on okay on. i ain't gonna lie hold on nigga we gotta think 100 bands bail can only stay in australia the western part not even a f nigga not even allowed in a full country of australia just the west and the nigga gotta visit police three times a week i ain't gonna lie bro they wouldn't be doing all that if they ain't had no evidence of that nigga bro it might be bad bro I mean, but that's it might be bad bro me andres see andres has a problem he's performing in bar one perth on the first night of his tour you'll know him as young philly and after this exact performance is where his problems really began and the allegations are extremely serious but before the warrant for his arrest philly carried on his tour of australia a week later he was finishing his tour on the other side of australia and he was arrested by multiple account of sa and he was returned multiple? back to perth to face his trial the prosecutors oppose philly's bail due to the strength of the evidence that they have cctv and photos that support the case the seriousness of the charges and they believe philly to be a flight risk due to being from colombia they got this nigga in 4K? Do they have this nigga in 4K? It's over. It's over. Yeah, he did that shit. I've been trying like this whole time to not like be on like no, like no, like no. Yeah, he did. He probably did that shit. He did that shit. That nigga guilty. Like I've been trying to like hold out on that shit, bro. Cause like, you know how, 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 how this be with like trying to get niggas locked up for for faking you know what i'm saying that nigga did that shit my nigga that nigga did that shit that nigga said cctv yeah that nigga did that shit it's yeah, over it's running. over the magistrate it's decided over. to grant him bail god under strict damn philly what the day, fuck to the police station a 50k as a deposit and he's banned from talking about the case in public damn so course, on social media the fact is everyone is innocent until proven guilty but it does not look good the next court date is in december so we will find out a lot more information Get NFL Sunday Ticket and YouTube TV. There's some very important details that we must discuss, and I promise you, if you had any sort of belief that Philly was gonna skate this or come out clean in this situation, yeah, that nigga cook. This, I just don't know how. That Western nigga Australia cook. That nigga is over. Prosecutor Julius DePitro says this is an extremely strong prosecution case against Philly. He claims they have CCTV and photo evidence, which helps to prove the accusations are true. The prosecution told the courts the alleged victim's body is marked by a 
history of violent acts. In the hours after what? he was charged, England's FA swiftly pulled the Colombian-born Brit from their upcoming YouTube projects. He is banned from leaving the state and must also report to Perth Police Station in Northbridge every day. Philly's defense lawyer argued the victim was drunk at the time and the alleged ordeal on September 28th, Channel 9 reported. He had performed at a show at Perth's Bar One nightclub the hours before meeting the woman making the allegations. Prosecutor wanted Philly to remain behind bars as he accused the star's fame of potentially playing a part in the assault. He said, this has already made headlines. Given the nature of social media, the nature of people jumping on bandwagons, given the nature of the power imbalance between Bro, parties. Now, the last time we've seen a public fuck? figure do something on closed circuit TV, he got labeled as one of the most vile people in American pop culture history. And of course, I'm talking about P. Diddy when he did the things with Cassie. In that situation, people didn't want to believe Cassie. People wanted to write her off as a gold digger. People wanted to write her off as all sorts of things. In that situation, once the video evidence came forth, oh, no I, he talking about back in the day. He talking about back, in the, he he talking about back the in the day of the earth. And I don't know how this young Philly situation is going to come out, but if there is anybody still on his side, the CCTV evidence should pretty much wrap this case up. I don't care what type of defense you can have. I don't know what type of excuse you could come up with for forcefully penetrating somebody Damn, without their consent multiple that? times, assaulting them on camera like that and I don't know if you understood what they were saying, but that impeding of somebody's airways is choking them. Now, just like in that, bro, niggas is forever. Niggas is going forever. Think fucking content creators is weird, bro. I, I was finna say I thought we was making progress. We're not making progress. We're going backwards. Actually, we're going horribly backwards. Um, the niggas nowadays, bro. These niggas is fried. These niggas brains is fried. So. Yeah, I might have to look at a different occupation. Wait, so people draw don't draw. just start doing stuff like this. People usually have histories where there is smoke, there is usually fire. You know, sometimes I don't get why I'm single. Mm. I've got a long wood and good manners. Like, what, what, what else do you want? I've got, I'm man, I've got manners, bro. Make those your vows. <laughs> you part of the Dream problem. Lady. Don't yeah. niggas call you K Diddy. That's literally the first time anyone has called me that bullshit. Matter of fact, don't ever call me that bullshit ever again, nigga. I will banish your ass. You don't have to get a girl. You need long with and good manners. What the <laughs> fuck? Long with and good manners is the inc it's incredible, man. <laughs> At least when you're he taking her fuck. back to the bedroom, then you go, no, please, after you. <laughs> no, bro. Like, yeah. K I've got long with and good manners, so I can get anything. <laughs> Sicko, man. Sick in the head. A girl, a girl's gonna sit down at the table and he goes, What'd you look for the guy? Long with a good man. <laughs> Hey, it's me. Like, come on, fam. See, what I truly mean is these people show these patterns or these sorts of signs many years before they even get into these positions. And then the power and the fame and the influence just amplify their disgusting tendencies. And this isn't some sort of secret or anything like that. Even their homeboys can tell when people like this are nasty, they wouldn't have anything to do with them when it comes to those types of relationships, specifically with their family. Yeah, I would, I would let you marry my family, but yeah. Why? Uh -huh. I seen this. I seen this clip on Twitter. This was crazy. This was crazy. I'm a good man. <laughs> What's wrong with me? No, I have too many stories. I've heard too many stories. Now, when this shit first came out, nigga, we just thinking, oh, the nigga, the nigga probably just be fucking hell. <laughs> nah, that nigga be doing more than fucking. My nigga Chunks, what do you know about this nigga, bro? What do you know? Yeah, what yeah, stories what is this nigga yeah. talking about? Been to the left. I'm not just, I'm been not to the left. What's that? Very, you, very you, scared. You, what? Bend to the left. I'm not just, that's very scary. Yeah, but it? what's that got to do with you right. when I'm clotting? You've that's just crazy. got to worry about I'm treating your sibling good. 25 year old can't be with a 16 year old. Yes, they can. Yes. What? what? A 25 year old with a 16 year old. Yeah. That can't be. I know, bro. I agree, G. Nigga, huh? Wait, nigga, what? What? Nigga, I was just opening up my window, nigga, what? You've got to worry about I'm treating your sibling good. 25 year old can't be with a 16 year old. Yes, they can. Yes. What? Why not? A 25 year old with a 16 year old. Yeah. That can't be. I know, but I agree, G. I huh? agree. Morally, it's wrong, but the law is. As soon as you're 16, you're legal. You're allowed to clock. 16 can be with other 16 year olds. No. Up to 18. And then 19, for example, a 19 year old can't be with a 16 year old. I'm oh, actually, no, I thought that as well. I've just really? realized that. Stop the cow. <laughs> Stop the cow right now. Stop the cow. At 20. By 2027, all bitches on planet Earth will believe YouTubers and Twitch streamers are pedos because of these niggas! A 25-year-old cannot be with a 16-year-old. It's illegal, and it's immoral, and it's disgusting. Why is he looking like... Yeah. Old. See, it's all fun and games in this content space, and normally people will push these things off to the- Philly was right at first, that is the law, but just because it's legal don't make it right, that's what 12- that's what 12 do.
side as hey this is what the creators do especially when they're content creating with women oh this is a sensitive society you can't even have contact with women anymore etc etc but like i've been telling people for a long time there's a difference between doing content and it being acceptable oh yeah that's why i meant i meant to ask y'all a fucking question hey when was the last time y'all niggas like went outside and just like hawked down some shit if you ask me SIU, SIU, so December. One offs and still not appearing to be some sort of deviant, and what these guys are doing. They're caring affection towards me, so it's only right that I take both. Why? You best mind that I don't. Ooh, yeah? All right, listen, I've got a next one for you, yeah? You see, if I started grabbing your waist and controlled you, I would have got excited, so that's why I just step back and let you do what you're doing. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Let's end it there. Vakar. We end it there, yeah? All right, look off the camera. These people, and it's what not the just fuck? in Philly. There are people this in nigga Philly of the internet that are using the words content as a way to get off their nasty and disgusting behaviors. And I'm not going to blanketly label anybody or call anybody out or whatever the case may be, but all these people that do these essay pranks in public where they're smacking somebody's behind and then faking like they're blind. No, 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 he got, he got this. Niggas still be doing this is crazy. Nigga, it is 2024. Nigga, the year is going to change in two more months. Why are we still doing fake smack ass pranks? Philly been a demon though, that's why I f Do I need to analyze this comment? Nigga, what? Philly been a demon though, that's why I fuck with him. He reminds me of me. V clarify yourself, bro, please. What do you mean he reminds me of me? What the fuck does that mean? Disorder, he got a, he got a, uh, no, he got a disorder. No, disorder my ass. What the hell? He got a disorder. No, no. How you gonna do that? Okay. Like no, nah, he, he can't see. He disrespectful. I know he can hear. Telling them to give me a 360, please, 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 begging, begging. That's coercion. I, know, that shit, I don't nigga, agree that with any of that niggas, being niggas like still doing under the crazy. umbrella as content. Because ultimately, what ends up happening is these people end up building a case against themselves in the court of public perception. Especially when you're running around doing a lot of collaborations in the town that you frequent, you're going to get a rap for yourself. And Young Philly is no different than anybody else. He had a rap sheet that spanned from not just anybody and everybody that's a random on the street, but even people that are on his own platform today i've got a real story about yeah. when i first met philly so i had we've got a friend called story, um, no but it's i understand it now in rude. hindsight yeah not rude it was just love and guidance for the riders yeah. what happened was um i've got a friend called i love and guidance do, for the like, riders i've never so heard philly that was hosting one of the nights yeah and then he was like to me you know what? come down come meet philly or like host it together so i was doing my own little something or whatever yeah and then i've seen philly and i've watched these videos in it because i used to watch the sunday stories and i think out of us three i think i I'm more linked with Philly with this, the content because yeah, yeah, we kind of like how raw we are. How raw we was, and I was like, this is basically me, innit? So I picked him up on some. Yo, my brother, man, I see you doing your thing. You know, he said to me, mm. love. he tapped my hand and said, yeah, love. <laughs> 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 Man, them, you Ego! I've come out of my, my comfort yeah, zone. I, was <laughs> I wanted to snuff him. This is even so Ego. Bad that Walter from Fresh and Fit. Yeah, <laughs> somebody who it seems like I'm caping for these days. It, it, I, if Walter is not on your side in these situations, I don't know what to tell you. You are caping for Fresh and Fit? Nigga, this whole, this whole app is cooked. This... What you mean you caping for fucking Fresh and Fit? What is this nigga talking about? Nigga, them is not no niggas to cape for. Walter from Fresh and Fit has even called him out on his BS. So, we are going to the club and uh, we're there having a great time. The club is closing in like 30 minutes or so. Out of the blues guy pops up. I'm like, who is this nigga? Talking to the girls, touchy feely. I'm just like, did somebody invite this nigga? The girl next to me that's also a YouTuber was like, yeah, well, that's so and so. He's a popular YouTuber here in the UK. I was like, oh, okay. He didn't know. Most of the girls there, he just knew one of them that I was talking to, which is fine. I know what, what I'm talking to, he takes particular interest into. So he's like talking to her, touching her, whatever. She's looking at me like, yo, like, what you trying to do? I'm like, listen, do your thing. Cause I'm not gonna, you know, force it, whatever. I'm talking to the YouTuber girl and she's like, yo, listen, like, I know she wants to go home with you. So I'm gonna talk to her because I can tell he's being very, be very pushy. We spoke for like, maybe like five minutes, but in real time, bro, I'm like, nigga, you see me with Shorty, like, are you good? Listen, bro, this is your city, bro. What okay, that do? changes things a lot. So we walk outside uh, of the club and we're just there chilling. I kid you not, bro. The nigga's pulling the girl to the car, like, like, like pulling, pulling her, her, legit pulling her. And I'm like, I'm, go I'm going to go to the this. hotel. And her friends are like, yo, this is crazy. Like, what's happening? Somebody oh. go get her. She's like, where are you guys going? Like, why is he pulling me this way? So I leave. I go to my hotel. I get a text saying, yo, listen, I'm dropping her off to you right now, which is the YouTuber girl that 
told me she's coming. And then I asked her, so what happened? You didn't want to go home, boy? Oh, no, this and that. He was being pushy, whatever. But I want to go home with you. I just don't want to, like, make a scene. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. So I was like, oh, shit, this is how this, how this thing moves. She's like, yeah, everyone knows. So that's when I heard the story. I'm like, I'm not surprised because I've seen it myself. And I've heard from other people the same thing. Apparently, he's always had... Okay, I ain't gonna lie. At first, I thought the nigga was just mad because the nigga took his hoe. I ain't gonna lie. Then, I, I heard the nigga out and he kept going. And then it started to make sense. And then shit started to click even more. And then he mentioned that that nigga was pulling her to the car. And then it's like, ah. Oh. At this style of content oh. where he comes off as Pepe Le Pew, you know that you little from the calling Looney for help. Tunes who is way too horny. But I think that those are kid gloves in these conversations because the things that they're talking about in these allegations, we're talking about a time where he's not even in Australia for a lengthy amount of time. A history of marks on her body. These are marks that have had time to heal, time to reset, new marks, old marks, all these different things on this young woman's body. Yeah, this sounds like one of the most devious people in the world. And with the way that social media uh, is set up it's hard to ignore some of these things now mind you i'm a person that can believe that things can be one-offs things can be oh this was just this moment it's totally out of context but i do believe in pattern recognition if john is always late to church or if jane is always late to work then we know that work isn't important to them so who's telling okay. what these two people would do with these situations chat do i got any uh chat do i got any like like psychopathic patterns let me know now if i do my nigga so i can fix them bitches philly is taking kisses from women without their consent That's choking crazy. them on camera feeling comfortable like that choking her? What the fuck you no, trying to kill her? It like a choke it was more like a <laughs> no i mean what the yeah yeah see look what? it's not wild bro i didn't no. i just i didn't even squeeze he said no bro oh then don't <laughs> she did man <laughs> yes who knows what he would do when those cameras are off because of the person that he Yo. thinks he is. And then if Yo. you combine that with the internet is sweepingly calling an arrogant attitude, you have a guy that's willing to do any and everything to anybody because he thinks he's the shit. We're like exchanging DMs back and forth. I was 20 yeah. at this point. And then he like finds my YouTube videos and he's like sending me pictures of myself in my videos, like telling me he didn't like what i was wearing or like he didn't how i look like how i looked in that video and then like i just i can't remember what i responded but i like number one before she continues i need a new i need a uh, i need a uk ho i just needed to say that i tried to just be like oh haha -ha. and then he sent me like the most brutal message being like look you seem like a lovely girl but like honestly i just could not be any less interested in you so i'm not gonna let you waste your time on this and i was like oh my I bet you felt so God, humble. I never wanted to show my face ever again now a lot of people in this Damn. situation me included Damn. one question and one question only philly is around a lot of people when he does these acts on camera where are those people and what the hell do they have to say First of all, I'm the exact same as you's. I'm shocked, but he's now obviously involved in legal proceedings. I cannot comment on legal proceedings. Um, yeah, you know what it is. Um, mad. Honestly, I, I, I can't comment on legal proceedings. Um, I, I, I don't know anything more. Now we're still waiting for his running mate chunks to make some sort of comment about the situations. But the only thing that I have to say about it is people know their friends' tendencies. I love Indeed. the fact that people are always shocked when this is a bad person who does a bad thing. No, that that is so stupid to me. I get mm. it. There is possibility that somebody could surprise you by the depths that they would take it. But to act like you don't see the signs there with this person, we've all been there as men, as women, as people who have seen somebody do something weird and you say to yourself in your head or out loud in that time mm, that was that a was strange. a little bit off that type, was a little bit of type type you type probably calm down etc 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 and i'm here to tell you if you've never said that to somebody or someone in some sort of situation then you probably are that person I'm oh not shit that they're complicit in these actions but <laughs> oh, checking shit. your friend a long time ago is something that probably should have been done specifically in this situation and the reason why people probably don't check him is because all these entities are just such big businesses on youtube i think he does stuff with adobe and different banks in the uk and he's with some charities and stuff like that they are so involved that nigga sponsored by heinz yeah, he making brace and the money is flowing so fast and so fierce that it is no different than any other celebrity situation where nobody wants to get cut off nobody wants to ostracize anybody nobody wants to blow the whistle on somebody who is effectively harming others and regardless of what goes on in these proceedings what happens in these situations is when it rains it pours so all of the allegations all of the questions about his character all of the story times of him being some sort of freaky nasty guy at this point beta squad or anybody else's 
associated with him is going to have no choice but to drop young philly in any sort of proceedings or any sort of business ventures that they have going forward and to be honest with you the beta squad so, is and he part of them is defending this guy i can't find a singular soul they're just pawning it off to a bunch of different matters it's shocking i ain't gonna lie beta squad bro beta squad not gonna say shit about that nigga bro that nigga chunks did come out and speak but like bro all the nigga said all the nigga said was what that uh white white nigga had said that nigga was like ah this shit is a this shit is a legal case i cannot say shit blah 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 legal like they matter, might just do like in, one or, quick address and then that's that it had interactions with him time and time again bashing this dude for the personality that he is now there's a lot of nuance that needs to be had in that conversation and a lot of validity in some of the points and maybe some pushback that needs to be had in some of the other points what i want people to really really realize this year 2024 especially is that these celebrity influencers are not who you say they are i yeah, was told to humble myself once by some other like social media star who's young philly oh my god oh, I, yeah she could humble say. yourself yeah he did he was like humble yourself you can be like that have a big ego but you could also be nice they come across arrogant yeah because, like, a lot of the things we talk about in this podcast were just bantering a lot of them are using content and the power that they have the fame that they've gained the notoriety that they gain as some sort of way to be evil and honestly they probably were evil beforehand they are just now amplified and magnified to the surface because of the stuff that they have going on for themselves now young philly was a part of one of the biggest hell the second biggest group in youtube in the uk and he had all the connections in the world was able to travel all over the world and was considered a rock star to a lot of people and with that fame that notoriety and that power he used it to allegedly take advantage of somebody damn but even bro. outside of that situation these are allegations see this is why bro when i blow up bro i'm gonna be the same nigga bro that's probably cap nigga i'm not gonna be no fucking psychopath nigga though bro the people around him have been complicit and i'm just gonna go ahead and say it i know that some of them have seen some of the actions of young philly it's just recorded on camera and they laughed it off his content and hell they just moved on like it was nothing Nothing. all this stuff is weird these guys like to use the excuse of pushing the boundaries and saying it's all for the content as a reason to get their nasty shit off but i'm here to say stop it identify when somebody does something is weird call them out hold them accountable for these things and make them either publicly address it apologize or in these cases where people are being handsy gropey and honestly abusive to people on camera get them off the internet that was a good ass vid omar i ain't gonna lie bro that was a good ass vid